I've told you once and I've told you a million zillion times. Kiwi Care, get off the playing field. You have to get off the playing field right now or... Uh, okay, Dave, I'll get off the playing field. <laughs> yes, sir. Look, just because we're on another playing field doesn't mean you can stay on this one. You need to get off. Okay, Dave, I'll get off. <laughs> I mean properly. Get off the playing field properly there, Kiwi Kia. Hurry up. Because otherwise, ah, you're uh, hiding the score. That's okay. So I can still do exercises for the people that are watching this. And thank you very much for watching. Yeah, Dave. Thank you very much for watching. Ha ha ha. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. What do I do? What do you think I should do? Uh, leave a comment if you like and just tell me what I should do because I don't know what to do about this. But anyway, here we go. Let's have a look. Oh no, I don't know what's worse. Having Kiwi on the board or having them in front of me. Oh well, can't win this one. This game was played one hour ago. This is a three minute rated blitz game. And so here we go. The database has given up. So, we've been here before, I know. Uh, here's Rook C8. And here is possibly a new move. Uh, it will be for me. B5, E5, Knight E8, King H2. So we have a, a bit of a build-up, really, here. And uh, so that's why I bring you this game. Yeah, Dave, uh, this is a good game. Ha <laughs> ha, if you don't mind me saying myself. <laughs> Knight c7, knight b3. Oh dear, my pawn's getting attacked. a5, bishop b3, knight a6. So white goes all out for the c5 pawn with the following move. Queen f2. So I played... Knight CB8, but I have to watch these pawns, but I'm trying to get more space for these. These will result in more space later on, and I have to look after this point here, as well as these. I have to look after this pawn here. This is very important, this pawn. Uh, it can move to D5 or F5, but I need to take care of this central formation this pawn here is more important than that one or that one because this one supports both of them as well and blah 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 so anyway moving on is d4 and so here i made the decision to close white's dark squared bishop off and also play on the queen side a little bit not too much but a little bit so played c4, and now I'm just going to have the b4 move. And I could just um, play this pawn right up to here. And this is quite characteristic or thematic for uh, black players to play in this sort of setup. If this pawn ever captures here, then I can opt to capture with the knight and place it into d3, which is pretty um, cool looking. Even if the bishop takes it off, okay, that will be okay because this bishop will then become a little bit better than it is already. Uh, and can come out here to here, as I've shown a few times, or can go here and sometimes even c6 where it's got this diagonal. Okay, so that's enough, of, enough ramble at the moment. So here's g4. Now, what do I do now? Um, I panicked. Seriously, I panicked. Uh, yeah, he panicked. I saw him. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I did. I did. But I played g6. gf5, gf5. Rook g1. Look out, there's a train coming. King h8. And here's bishop f1. See, this train is right ready now to checkmate me with the queen on g7 square. Soon. So B5, 
better be careful. So I played Rook G8 to contest, and maybe Bishop E2 is okay or something like that. But my opponent played Knight G5, and here, what would you play now? Uh, obviously, uh, we've got to look out for Knight F7 checkmate. So what I did, and maybe you would play it too, I'm not sure, is bishop g5, fg5. Could have been rook g5, but my opponent opted for fg5. And I played bishop e8, which is now offering right the opportunity to push this pawn, okay? Uh, and thereby hamper my white squared bishop from wanting to get out, get out quick. And here comes bishop f4. Whether this helps uh, white or not, I'm not completely sure. Uh, maybe something like bishop e2 or something like that with the idea of h4 and h5 and g6 or h6 or whatever, something like that. Maybe. And White, of course, has to be careful on the queen side. Uh, but here's bishop f4 and bishop g6. This promotes the idea of white playing h4, which it did. Queen e8, bishop e2. And so everyone can understand what move I'd play here now because this is my bad white squared bishop. This is the worst. The, this is the only bishop I've got left, but it's not very good, is it? Unless it gets out to here, it might be okay, or here, as previously mentioned. So I played bishop h5, offering swap, and so we had a swap, and here comes a mistake from white's hand, which was a bit sort of uh, uh, not very good, was it? Unfortunate, sort of was queen f3. Uh, my opponent's got 150, I've got 157, queen f3, and I played queen h4 one second later. King g2, and here I think I took it. This took him a few seconds to move here, 142. Uh, I think I. Um, now, what would you play? But anyway, I think I thought a little bit longer here than 156, but we will soon find out. So, what would you play now? I played the following. So if you want to ponder this position, you might like to see what I came up with. Uh, whether it's any good or not, I always say that is another question. Uh, but what would you play here? And so I'm going to, if you want to have a look, pause now because I'm going to show you my next move is, of course, Rook G5. This is because I've been doing puzzles with you. I hope you have been too and I hope you enjoy them. And let me know either way, if you wish to, if you don't, that's okay too. Uh, here is rook g5, and as you would appreciate, upon capture, I have queen d2, uh, queen d2 capture as well. So I get two pieces and a pawn for my rook. Uh, but I am getting rid of white's bad dark squared bishop. Which is bad anyway. Queen g5 check. Queen g3. Queen d2 check. Queen f2. And I just can play. Um, I can play rook g8. But I opted for bc3. And bc3. And here I could just play um, queen takes queen etc. And that's pretty cool. Uh, I played rook g8. King f1, queen d3, king e1, queen c3. Didn't go anywhere with this though. King e2. I'm missing my rook on this square here. Check this one. I'm missing my rook on that square. I played queen d3. I'm almost going to repeat position. King e1. Got to be careful for that. Queen c3. My opponent is not going to go to d2 because then I can win. Uh, clearly, but my opponent's playing pretty well, reasonably. Queen b2, 
And here we've got almost repetition of moves. King f3 and we've got queen f2. Now we're into the end game. King f2, knight c6, king e3, rook g4, rook g4, fg4, rook b1, knight a b4, a3, knight c2, check. This is looking pretty primo. King f4, knight 2 d4, rook b7. So this cuts out the king for moving, so I'll move the pawns instead, which is h5. I've got to make sure I don't get checkmated on uh, b8, but at the moment there's no rook going to b8 as knight takes rook will occur. And my opponent has 1 minute 2, and I have 54.5, uh, whether that's anything to do with it. King g5, and here's knight e5. Rook c7, knight f5. So now this protects these two important squares for me getting checkmated in this position because that can occur. And now I can just chase this uh, rook away if it starts checking me, which it can do. Uh, and also this pawn is marching. It's got marching orders, I can hear it. Also, this one has two. So it's very, 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 very much one. But we still have to look out for the dreaded stalemate. So what? Yeah, Dave, the stalemate's not very nice. Yeah, I know. And king h5, g3. We have a runaway. Rook c8, check. King g7, rook c7. Watch this. King f6, a4. What is white preparing here white's just played a4 so um we have to be careful of stalemate it can happen but it's not going to happen we go g2 and rook d7 okay so this is able to be just taken king g4 g1 queen and that's it okay i hope you enjoyed that game all the best with your chess and bye for now. See you next time on The Muppet Show.